fast becoming staples on the desks of gamers and creative pros, 4K monitors are falling in price, but getting more complicated to buy. Here's how to shop for an ultra high definition display, plus our top picks, backed by deep dive reviews. The EA275 UHD bears a striking resemblance to the NEC Multi-Sync EA244 UHD. It has a 2.6-inch thick, business black cabinet with thin, 0.60-inch, bezels and a matching round base and a mounting arm with height, swivel, tilt, and pivot adjustability. The lower bezel has an ambient light sensor and a presence sensor on the left, and five touch-sensitive function buttons on the right. Three additional function buttons are located on the lower right-hand bezel. The light sensor works with the auto brightness setting to adjust the panel's luminance levels, depending on ambient light readings. The presence sensor is part of the EA275 UHD's human sensing feature that puts the monitor into a power-saving standby mode when no movement is detected. The rear of the cabinet holds one DVI port, one HDMI 2.0 port, and one DisplayPort 1.2 port. Here you'll also find one USB 3.0 upstream port and two USB 3.0 downstream ports, an audio input, and two control sync ports that allow you to take settings from one master monitor and push them to up to five additional monitors that are connected via control sync cables. A third USB 3.0 downstream port is located on the left side of the cabinet, next to a headphone jack. By way of comparison, the ViewSonic BP2784K gives you two DisplayPort inputs, one HDMI 2.0 port, and two HDMI 1.4 ports that can also connect to, and charge, compatible MHL devices. While it is very similar to the ViewSonic BP2784K, which earned our editor's choice way back in 2015, the VP2785 4K offers some distinct improvements. It adds a USB Type-C port, which can charge a laptop that's connected to it, as well as letting you take advantage of an unusual KVM switch feature. With this feature, you can plug multiple input sources into the monitor and switch between them easily using one keyboard and mouse. The VP2785 4K has a wider color gamut than the VP2784 k in several color spaces. It also has much smaller side and top bezels, which equates to a larger screen area and a more seamless integration into a multi-monitor array. The VP2785 4K's matte black design is handsome yet simple, offering little inkling of the precision of the panel it houses. Clean lines and narrow, near-invisible bezels adorn the sides and top, with a thicker strip across the bottom. When placed on its stand and extended to its maximum height, the VP2785 4K measures 21.5 by 24.1 by 8.5 inches and weighs 14.1 pounds including the stand. The sturdy, unobtrusive, and highly adjustable stand offers just over 5 inches of height adjustment, 120 degrees of swivel control, and 22 degrees of tilt adjustment. Photographers will appreciate its ability to pivot 90 degrees into portrait orientation. The in-plane switching 27-inch panel is impressive, with its native resolution of 4K making for a high pixel density of 163 pixels per inch. This matches the densities of both the Acer Predator X27 and the ViewSonic VP2784K, while the ViewSonic VP3881 has a pixel density of 111p. Higher pixel densities generally translate to sharper images. The CHG90 is a large, bulky monitor, best handled by two people when moving it around. When affixed on its stand, it measures 20.7 by 47.7 by 15 inches and weighs 33.1 pounds. You'll need a table or desk with at least 4 feet of horizontal space to fit the monitor's width. On top and to the sides, it effectively has no bezel, a mere 0.6 inch strip rides across the bottom. The stand rests on a sturdy, V-shaped base that is unusually wide, befitting the panel's own extreme width. It provides height, swivel, and tilt adjustment. For obvious reasons related to the size and curvature, pivot adjustment, which would let you rotate a panel from landscape to portrait mode and back, is not remotely an option. This ultra-wide 49-inch panel has a native resolution of 3840 by 1080 pixels. The screen itself is a vertical alignment display that uses quantum dot technology. It has a 32 to 9 aspect ratio, functionally the same as two 27-inch 1080p monitors placed side by side. Although the panel's width is impressive, its pixel density is low, making the screen not particularly sharp. 
This was borne out in ad hoc testing using text and photos. It's less apparent in the heat of gaming, or in video, though a close look at the screen may reveal traces of a hatched graininess. The panel is highly curved, with an 1800R curvature rating, which means that if you were to place enough CHG90 monitors side by side to form a circle, it would have a radius of just 1800mm, or 1.8m. The monitor's viewing angles were less than spectacular, I noticed some dimming at extreme angles. But considering the width of this panel and the immersive effect of gaming with it, you may well not even notice. Monitors like the Asus ROG Strix XG438Q and the HP Omen X Imperium 65 may feel a bit early, seeing as 4K PC gaming is so demanding and takes such a muscle machine to run at high detail settings. But my guess is they're not just meant for extreme PC gamers. These displays will be great matches for the consoles of the future, too. It's been confirmed that both the Sony PlayStation 5 and next-gen Xbox Scarlet will support gaming in 4K resolution at up to 120 frames per second. Given that the ROG XG438Q matches those specs exactly with its 120Hz refresh rate, it's not hard to see displays like these on every console gamer's wishlist for holiday season 2021. Though it's almost definitely an issue of size, the lack of a truly adjustable stand on the XG438Q left us wanting a bit. The only adjustability on offer is the vertical tilt, and even then just 15 degrees of total sway is available. Again, the size and the weight of this display are likely the culprits here, but if you have a customized Visa mount that can support the panel's 50.2 pound heft, then the XG438Q can swivel and bend at will. The right side of the monitor and the back of the unit feature a bounty of available ports, including one display port 1.4B and three HDMI 2.0 inputs, two USB 3.0 downstream ports, and one line in slash line out combo jack, in case you want to connect your headphones to something a little closer than the back of your PC or console. And you will want to, even though the monitor has two 10 watt speakers built in, they are tinny, as monitor speakers usually are. The 27 inch monitor measures 24.8 inches wide, 3.4 inches deep, and 21.3 inches tall, and weighs just less than 16 pounds. The monitor also comes with three shade structures that screw onto each side of the unit, though, as we found out during our luminance testing below, you likely won't need to use them unless you're gaming in the harshest of ambient lighting conditions. Underneath the front bar of the monitor there's a strip of lights that can pulsate, move side to side, breathe, or remain solid in six different colors, a staple feature in the Predator monitor brand. On the back are two 4 watt speakers that are, like most gaming monitor speakers, painfully treble heavy. Have a pair of headphones ready. The number of ports available on the Acer XB273K is a bit limited compared with other gaming monitors we've reviewed, but is still serviceable enough. The selection includes one display port 1.4B, one HDMI 2.0 port, one 3.5mm headphone jack, and two USB 3.0 downstream ports. The OSD on the display is controlled through a 5-way joystick, and contains many of the same features we've seen on the Predator monitors mentioned above. These include the option to enable a hardware-based crosshair, use 5 different levels of blue light filter, enable a dark boost mode, or tune the RGB sliders to your liking or use one of the 8 included presets. Unlike the Nitro XB3, the OSD of the XB273K is quick, snappy, and responsive, and no setting switches took more than half a second or so to complete.